Hi, my name's Andy Gupp with the ESRI Developer Network team, and today I'm going to show you how to build your first mapping application using the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. So what I'm going to do is start with a basic HTML application from the Aptana Studio template, and we're just going to give our application a title. We're going to call it Basic Map. Then we need to give the application some meta tag information and what we're going to do is provide some header information that provides some instructions to the browser and we're also going to tell it what type of content this is and we're going to pick UTF-8. The next thing we need to do is give this application a style sheet so we're going to tell application that this is a style sheet and it's going to be of type text CSS and we're going to point it to a style sheet that is hosted on ArcGIS Online and this is the dojo style sheet called Tundra. I'm just going to copy and paste that in and then the next item we need to place on our application is a reference to the ArcGIS JavaScript library. This is also hosted on ArcGIS Online. And there's something I want to point out to you in this application, in this reference, and that's version 1.4, which is the latest version of the library. You should always check back to the ArcGIS resource centers for the JavaScript APIs to make sure you have the latest version. Next, we're going to create a second script tag and in this script tag block we're going to handle a lot of the initialization functions and functions related to drawing the map. First thing we want to do is import what's called a package and a package specifies certain types of functionality that are available in the class libraries. I wanted to point out that this is a lowercase m esri.map and that will be important here in just a minute. I also wanted to show you that there is a list of the packages in the resource center concepts documentation and here we're using esri map which is used for commonly imported resources related to drawing maps, geometries, graphics, and symbols so that we don't have to import all of this functionality all in one shot into our application. So we brought in our resources. We're going to specify a few variables. We're going to have a map and a tiled, tiled map service layer. These are two variables that we're going to be using shortly. And I want to create a function called init, which is short for initialize. And what we want to have happen is we're going to use a dojo function called add on load. And we want init to run after the document object model or DOM and any other widgets that are specified on the page have loaded. That's what this dojo add on load function is going to do for us. And in my init function what I want to do is initialize a new ESRI map. And you notice in this case I'm using capital M for map which indicates the ESRI map class. And I'm going to tell it where we want that map drawn. And we're going to call that map div. I'll create that here in just a second. We also want to do something with this tile map service layer. We want to initialize it. So we're going to say new ESRI layers. And what we want is to use the ArcGIS tiled map service layer. And what we're going to do in here is paste in one of our GIS services endpoints for our map service. I'm going to paste that in. And one thing we want to do is test to make sure that that REST endpoint is live. So we're going to switch over to our browser. 
open up a new window, paste that in, and we can see that the REST endpoint is indeed live. We can see that there's some uh, level IDs. Uh, we know the extents, units, and some other information related to image format types. So we're looking good there. Now the last thing I want to do in this function is add the tiled map service layer to our map. And we're just going to say tiled map service layer. And the last thing we do in our application is we're going to create this div block that, cre that contains the map and if you recall from above we called that map div is our ID. We also want to give it a class and if you recall we were using the Tundra class from Dojo so we want to make sure that we specify Tundra here and we also want to apply some very basic styling. We want to give this map a width and we're going to say that's 800 pixels and a height and we're going to make that 600 pixels and that should be it. We should be good to go. Let's see if our application works. And there it is. We have created our first basic mapping application and thank you for listening in.